I'm 14 years old, walking at night, past 12 a.m. to get a tattoo, no phone, no Wi-Fi, no communication, just nothing. I'm speed walking at this point because I'm realizing how dark it is, but I'm already too far out. I can't fucking turn back. Well, I could have. I could have turned back, but I wasn't because I wanted a tattoo that damn bad. TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean life. Girl, I was 14 getting motherfucking tattoos. But before we get into the video, y'all know the drill. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss my videos. You don't want to miss what tea I have to spill next. And also you might want to go ahead and put on your post notifications because you don't want to miss whenever I post the next video. Even though I post every Sunday, a bitch be thinking about doing pop-up videos. So I'm gonna need for y'all to pop that button so that y'all could be popping with me. Okay. Alright y'all, so let me take y'all back to when I was 14 this was the summer before my freshman year y'all I was geeked okay I was geeked about going to high school I'm like I'm gonna be in that thing I'm about to be cute I'm just about to be in that thing okay so I was really really excited about high school I just felt like I'm in high school I need something different so let me just go ahead and see about getting a tattoo it just so happened that I was cool with a guy let's call him Caleb Caleb was a tattoo artist or well, I won't say a real tattoo artist he was an aspiring tattoo artist he was um just starting to do tattoos he was a beginner whenever people first start doing something they want to do free tattoos and stuff to kind of get their name out there i hit him up i'm like hey you know are you free to do a tattoo and he was like yeah just come through i asked him if he had a car he said he didn't have a car y'all know i was 14 i didn't have a car he was a senior in high school and so because it was a free tattoo y'all know back then i liked free stuff Especially tattoos. I decided, fuck it, let me just go ahead and walk my ass on and get a tattoo. Now this right here was the most dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. And I said it because it was the most dangerous thing I've ever did in my life. I just felt like I got it. My ass decided to sneak out, out of my window, because around that time I was also doing a lot of sneaking out, uh, which I'll do some videos on that if y'all want. If y'all want me to do any sneaking out stories, go ahead and get this video to at least 200 likes so y'all can do it. I know y'all can. So, I said, all right, well, I'm gonna just walk. This is what I told Caleb, thinking he's probably gonna be like, nah, don't do it. Let me just try to find a ride. Let me just try to find a way to get you. Girl, he said, okay. As a matter of fact, he said, I. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just climbed my little fast ass on out that window and got my ass to walk in. He didn't live far. He didn't live far, like, if you were in the car. It was about 12 o'clock midnight because I couldn't leave early. I wanted to make sure my mama was asleep and not going to be waking up no time soon. So I waited a little long and I dipped out. I put in his address in my phone. This was the time my mom used to cut my phone off early. Like, on weekends, my phone would turn off at 12 a.m. Like, I couldn't make any calls or text messages unless it was like my mom. She had a whole curfew on my phone. I didn't have a way of GPS in or anything as I was on the way there, but I did have an iPod. So what I did was before I left, I put in his address and then I screenshot the direction so that I can have the pictures while I was walking my badass on out in the streets. Let me just paint the picture with y'all. I'm 14 years old, walking at night, past 12 a.m. to get a tattoo, no phone, no Wi-Fi, no communication, just nothing. So if I would've gotten, you know, kidnapped or trafficked or anything like that, nobody would have known because you know, I would have just been fucked. I got to walk in, y'all, and the day before it rained, so it's super, super wet out here. Um, the type of shoes that I had on back in New Orleans, we call it baby doll shoes. I don't know what you guys call it, probably flats or something, but I'll show an example of what kind of what they were. Those shoes aren't made for water, like water will easily sleep through them. It probably was like Walmart shoes, come to think about it as well. So, y'all definitely know that shit was trash and with no type of coverage to my feet. But I'm just walking, I'm walking in the grass because the whole way I wasn't able to walk on the sidewalk. I had to walk in grass and water and mud. It was just so stupid. Y'all, I'm walking, my legs burning, I ain't gonna lie, my legs burning, but I'm just walking. I'm speed walking at this point because I'm realizing how dark it is, but I'm already too far out. I can't fucking turn back. Well, I could have. I could have turned back, but I wasn't because I wanted a tattoo that damn bad. I'll post a screenshot on exactly how far it is. I finally, finally make it. And tell me why I have to sneak in his house. So you mean to tell me I have to sneak out of my house to go to somebody else's house to sneak in theirs? What type of 
shit was that? I thought he was grown enough to have company, especially if he was doing tattoos. Like, it wasn't no funny business. My feet and all of this are already, you know, soaking wet because my shoes are soaking wet from walking through the mud and all of that. The way that I had to climb in is like his bed was right next to the window. I'm not a good climber, y'all. I'm maybe a little bit tall, but I am not a good climber. And so I finally climbed my ass up there and, you know, my shoes and shit, muddy shoes and feet all up in his bed. I didn't say nothing to him about it. I just, you know, whatever. So after that was over, he set up his equipment and all of that and began my tattoos. And my sass, hot ass, I got two stars, one on each side, the underwear area. Two raggedy ass stars that are faded away. I don't even know if I still have them. Oh yeah, I still got them. <laughs> after he finished with the tattoo and everything, it was around maybe 2 o'clock in the morning-ish. Then that time came when I had to figure out how the fuck I was going to get home. And I didn't damn well. I was not trying to walk back because the walk to was just horrible, horrible, fucking horrible. So I decided to text one of my buddies. He decided that he would pick me up. <laughs> so he picked me up and dropped me off home, thank God. Because, let me tell y'all, if I had to walk back, I don't know if I would have made it, like, for real, for real. But y'all, moral of the story is, I'm gonna have two morals, okay? So the first one is, don't be sneaking out the house to go walk to nigga house. Don't be sneaking out the house. Matter of fact, don't sneak out at all. But if you are going to, at least have a ride. Like, don't be walking. Especially now, sex trafficking is real out here and your girl could've got sex trafficked or something like something could've really happened to me if I would've ran across the wrong person while I was walking but thankfully that did not happen my friend came pick me up so I was goofy I was good I got back home find my dumb ass in the window and that was that <laughs> and then the second moral is stop getting tattoos in people houses I don't know how many times I've gotten a tattoo with somebody's house I'm 25 now I will never do that shit today unless I know you like legit 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 but it's not I'm gonna need a shop I'm gonna need a certificate I'm gonna need a health department certificate I'm gonna need all of that because like we can't be out here playing with each other's lives like getting tattoos and stuff not knowing especially with this corona like I wouldn't dare. That's that story. My very first tattoo. Stupid, stupid tattoo because now it's just right there and I just have two random ass stars in my underwear area. That shit is so stupid and tacky and ghetto. So if you like this story, don't forget to like this video. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any crazy experiences of you getting your very first tattoo, were you young as me or were you a little bit older? I need to know. I want to know that I'm not the only 14 year old out here getting tattoos like she grown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, that's all I have for y'all. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Y'all don't want to miss anything I have in store. And I'm going to see y'all next week. Uh -huh.